Hey, my name's Charlie. Welcome to Grubbing with Grizzly. Today we're at the Sycamore Cove Beach day use area for a little getaway and we're going to make chicken and steelhead, what I call surfing bird. So because it takes longer to cook, we're going to start with the chicken. The chicken is pretty simple, no extra oil involved. We're just going to use salt, a mix of salt, pepper, and herbs de Provence. We're going to coat it with some more herbs, and then we're going to throw in some blueberries, some sage, and a lemon. So let's get to it. So you take your salt and your pepper and your herbs, and you stick them as far under the skin as you can. Don't be afraid to, uh, to damage the underside. You want to rip the connecting tissue between the skin and the meat. And that gets that flavor in all the way under here. And don't just do the breast. You know, try and get in in some other areas. Get it in here and get in under the thighs. Maybe you can get in if you can squeeze in there under the wings. So now that it's salted up on the inside, take some more clean salt, put it on top. So our next step, we're gonna butterfly the chicken. That way it cooks faster. So get a cutting implement, whether it's a cleaver or a handy dandy little axe. Try and go right down the middle. Do not, I repeat, do not hit the breastbone. That can be bad. So go ahead and find it using your finger right here. See, I found the breastbone using the blade. So this is the breastbone. Give it a good yank out. You see right here is where the ribs to connect to it. All right, so now that we got the breastbone out of the way, we're gonna take care of getting some of those ribs out of the way. So next, we're just gonna do a little garnishing of the chicken and then we're gonna throw it right on the fire. First, we're gonna take a lemon, we're gonna cut about a quarter of it off, and squeeze the juice onto the exposed section. To avoid getting the seeds on your meat, just pick them right out. Get a good squeeze right here. You're gonna take your sage, plonk that, just a couple of the leaves, right here. Now, we've got some blueberries, and you're wondering why. Well, we're gonna stuff them under the skin just to get that little extra flavor. Not too many, maybe three or four a side. The next part, Flip it over really quickly. Take that bit of lemon again. Just squeeze some on top. Take your remaining spices that you have that we hanging out. Put those on top as well. All right. Your next step, you're going to put it on the fire. This guy we may need to... Woo! He's cooking quick. All right. We're going to go ahead and cover it with aluminum foil and either a rock or something. In this case, something is a naturally occurring concrete paving stone. Next, 
going to start preparing the steel head. First, take a piece of maple wood that you've been soaking for about two hours. Next, take some salt. I like to use kosher salt. Put it on the plank. Now, here's something interesting I learned. Take your fish and score a line along the skin. This allows it to cook a little more evenly and a little faster. So you go ahead and plonk that down on the plank. Plonk on the plank. Your next step, take a couple of blueberries, put them in the middle of each fillet. Take some finishing salt, in this case, using a blueberry. Sprinkle it on top. Some pepper. Top it off with just a little honey, not too much. This will help you get a good glaze. You don't want to put your plank directly over the flame because you don't want it to catch fire too quickly. A little burning around the edges gives a good smoky flavor, but otherwise the whole point of the plank is to not catch on fire. Right here we got him a little more to the side and not directly over where our main heat source is. You're going to want to cover your fish just like you covered your chicken. You don't want to put a rock directly on top of it or else you'll squish it and throw it. Ooh, that's hot. Here's my rock or something. It goes right there. We'll let the chicken sit for another 15 or 20 minutes. The fish will need about the same time to cook. We'll come back and check on them. That. So we've been checking the chicken over the last 20 minutes. It's ready to go. Next, we're going to check on our steel head. We want to make sure that there's goo coming out. That way we know it's done. These look ready. Look at that, it's coming right off.